come along with me today and I'm going to show you just how easy it is to make your very own spreadable whipped butter. So let's get started. Well, good day. Today I'm going to give you a healthy tip plus a good way of stretching the grocery dollar. I'm going to show you how to do it yourself. Easy, spreadable butter. And this is real butter, folks. So let's go ahead and let's get started. What you're going to be needing is two sticks of butter. I already have two sticks of butter here in my KitchenAid mixer and to that we're going to be adding one third cup of coconut oil and I'm using the organic as I was saying I'm using the or organic coconut oil and you can find that in the baking section of stores and I already went ahead and I pre-measured my coconut oil out. And I'm going to go ahead and add that to the mixing bowl here. And then to that, we're going to be adding also one-third cup of extra virgin olive oil. So let me go ahead and pre-measure that out. And this is the olive oil that I choose to use. All right, so what you're going to want to do now that we have our butter, our coconut oil, and our extra virgin olive oil is lower our mixer head or our mixing arm and go ahead and put it. A on a low speed and com and when all is said and done it's going to look like you have whipped butter so we're going to just let it mix up and I went ahead and I switched out my beater attachments and I put the wire whisk on and now let's go ahead and continue to now whip our butter. Oh yes, that's looking really nice. Okay, go ahead and grab a plastic container that has a cover as I have as such here. And I'm going to go ahead, I'm going to empty out the butter and I'm going to put it here inside my container here and we'll be back when I'm all done doing that. That's how easy it is to make spreadable whipped butter. I hope you give this a try. I hope you share it. And I hope you hit the subscribe button. Y'all come back now, people.